When I first booted up Mario Party 10, I was excited to find out how much had changed since my last experience with the series. Mario Party, as I remembered it from the good old N64 days, was pretty much a board game with Mario characters and minigames. It's pretty hard to mess that up. Sadly, Nintendo found a way before I had even started the game. The Wii U Pro Controller is not supported in this game. For me, that was strike one. I begrudgingly picked up the Wii U gamepad and attempted to load into the game, but again, I was dismayed to find that even with the Wii U gamepad, I could only play as Bowser. Strike 2, Nintendo. To play Mario Party 10, I had to go out and buy Wii Remotes, the controller of Nintendo's last generation console that I hoped I would never need to use again. Mario Party 10 does not play as I remember Mario Party. The first big change is that instead of players going around the board separately, the group of players each contributes towards moving to the end of the current game board's path. The second instantly noticeable change is that instead of collecting coins to buy the most stars, you're collecting mini stars throughout the entire game. Whoever has the most mini stars by the end of the board is the winner. Not horrible changes, and from looking into it deeper, I found that Mario Party 9 was the first game in the series to start this new trend. Again, not horrible changes, just different than what I was expecting. Beyond the handful of different boards, the minigames are where you should expect to find most of your value. Unfortunately, about half of these minigames are based on inaccurately aiming the Wiimote at the screen or waving your arms around to get the motion controls to work half of the time. The games that actually required button inputs were for the most part well done and fun overall, but the whole experience was heavily soured by the motion games. You can play all of the minigames in a free play mode, so if you find ones that you really like, you can play them over and over, or practice the ones that you're not as good at. Playing as Bowser using the Wii U gamepad was actually more fun than I expected it to be. For each minigame, I was able to try and eliminate each player by taking out their remaining hearts. The game is over when either Bowser takes out the team, or the team gets to the end of the board. Teammates that have been eliminated can be revived at certain points. For the most part though, the person playing as Bowser seems to have an advantage. The next purchase that I had to make for this game to unlock all of the options was a Mario Party Amiibo character. Unfortunately, you can't use a Toon Link or Samus Amiibo in this game. With my newly purchased Mario Amiibo, I placed them on the gamepad and loaded into the Amiibo portion of Mario Party 10. I was both pleasantly surprised and then instantly disappointed. The Amiibo portion of the game more closely resembles the older versions of Mario Party that I remember playing and loving. Unfortunately, to do pretty much anything, you'll be constantly placing your Amiibo on the gamepad only to immediately pick it back up. It's more annoying than clever, and takes away from the experience. The next disappointment in this mode is that all of the minigames are the same as the main game, so while I would still get the ones that required button inputs, I also got the ones that were based on motion control. All in all, as much as I prefer the older style of play, it's not worth the time, effort, or money to go into the amiibo portion of the game. To be fair, perhaps my opinion of Mario Party 10 reflects my expectations that this was going to be like Mario Party 3 with Wii U graphics. Even so, I found Mario Party 10 to be merely an okay game at best. It has the potential to be a fun family game, but with such a large amount of the minigames relying on chance, this series has traveled far from the roots that once made it great. For more game reviews, don't forget to check out the rest of Phoenix Overdrive's YouTube channel. And if you like this video, please rate thumbs up and subscribe.